I'm sick. <laughs> what the hell is this character? Hello guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to be talking about everyone's favorite Android, Android 21. Get out of here, Android 18. So, Android 21 is a new character in the Dragon Ball universe, made for fighters, and she was actually made by the late Akira Toriyama. Rest in peace, sir. You made one of the greatest series ever. Fighters is really easy to play, but hard to master for the most part, since it does have auto combos for light and medium attacks. But enough about the game. Who is Android 21? The answer is... I don't know. In the fighter's story mode, she brings back all the villains just to eat them and gain their power, but she did make a small cameo in the recent Dragon Ball Super Heroes movie that I saw in theaters. There are three chapters in the story mode. The Heroes arc where you play as Goku Squad, then there's the Villains arc where all the past villains team up like Frieza, Cell, Captain Ginyu, but not Kid Buu. He's just an NPC in the story mode and yet he's playable, but I'm not going to get into that. In the last arc, it's about the androids. Android 21 was really sus when she swallowed that remote though. Taste of garbage. Ah! It should have been me. I wonder why she broke the internet like Bowser and Lady Demistru. Be careful just typing in Android 21 on Google because you'll find some interesting fan art. Okay, so how does Android 21 play? Well, she's a bit like Kirby. She swallows enemies and gains their abilities. I'm sorry. <laughs> Except she doesn't get a cool hat. Here, let me fix that. There you go, 21. So, Android 21 has three ways of stealing moves. She has this grab called Connoisseur Cut and an aerial version of it, which can be comboed into it with down medium. And she has a super where she turns people into dessert and eats them. And, that's where the line starts. and her Sweet Tooth super fills up each slot automatically, whereas Connoisseur Cut fills up only one depending on if you use the ground or aerial version. Each character has different abilities depending on what species they are. People like Krillin, Yamcha, and Goku give Kamehameha's and solar flares, while Vegeta, Trunks, and Broly have consecutive energy blasts and sticky energy blasts. Aliens like Piccolo, Ginyu, and Frieza have homing energy blasts and sonic warp. And the androids have explosive energy blasts and Barrier Sphere. It's weird that Super Baby 2 gives her the Android's abilities, but it does make a little sense since he's a machine mutant that took over Vegeta's body. So some characters have different abilities given than you would think, so keep that in mind. Also the grounded abilities are the first and third slots, and the aerial ones are the second and fourth, so keep that in mind. I first thought they were like Asuka spells from Strive, where each slot was assigned to a different button. But I was wrong. It's based on whether you do the grounded or aerial versions of Connoisseur Cut. Now let's get on to her moves. She has an hors d'oeuvre stab where she basically slams into the ground. I already covered her Connoisseur Cut and aerial version, but she also has a projectile one called Total Detonation Ball, where she shoots out a projectile and the medium version makes her shoot it upward. Now I'll show her supers. Here's Photon Wave that can be used in the air or on the ground. Here's the funny haha -ha eating one, Sweet Tooth. I wonder what you taste like. That's my power. And excellent full course in the air. Android 21 recently got a new super called Impending Doom, where you have to have 4 power ups. It takes forever for it to come out though, but she shields the attacks though, and this feels like a boss super. I mean, she is the main bad guy of this story. So funny enough, SH Figure Arts made a figure of her in her Majin and Lab Coat form. I bought the Majin one twice, I bought it for myself, and it's on my shelf here with my other Dragon Ball figures. The one for my friend Red Sama for Christmas. I believe it's for Christmas. They also made one for a lab coat one, but I like the module one better because damn that pink is hot. 
I admit, I also like playing her Majin form more in the game. So a while ago, Arc Systems made Lab Code 21 and she was broken. She was banned from fighting game tournaments for a bit. I recommend watching this video by Action Esports. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. As the person in that video goes into more detail about it. So Lab Code 21 is her normal form. And damn, she has a lot of supers and moves for this game compared to the other characters. Oh great, my bosses at work watch my channel and they're gonna see this and they're gonna tell everyone in the back room Hey guys, guess what? Gary wants a weird alien girl from Dragon Ball to eat him. What a f loser. If they do say that, then I would say Nah, I'd rather let King DDD eat me and spit me back out right at you bitches. <laughs> Cause King DDD is the king of suck. Don't worry, it's all cool. Me and my coworkers joke around and friendly bully each other so we're good, we're good. So, I'll go into Labco 21's move list here too. I haven't played her as much as Majin 21, but I've analyzed her attacks and looked up some of them on Dust Loop, so here we go! Here's her Delectable Strike, and it's an overhead attack. Here's Granita Edge, and it has really good range, and you can follow up attacks and supers with it. Then we got Savory Slicer, where she spins around and it kinda reminds me of Bedman spinning attack. Then we got a vertical savory slicer where 21 goes up instead of forward. Next is Mignardai's heal, where she stomps the ground and it can be followed up with moves and supers. Her next attack is Photon Swipe and she shoots out a beam. Next is Connoisseur Cut, and instead of gaining abilities, she instead heals herself. And her last move is a Barrier Sphere. Okay, now I'm seeing why she was banned. Now it's time for her supers. Her first one is Total Detonation Ball, which can be used in the air. This right here is your attention. Next is Photon Pulse, and this is a grab. I think this was the move that got her banned because her damage increases and the opponent's decreases, and these words would pop up saying you've powered up. Prepare to be neutralized. Fantastic. Next is her Total Evasion. It's the same as her Total Detonation Ball, except she goes behind the opponent. You're not dodging this! Appetizing Rush is up next, and this can be used in the air. This is all of my power! Prepare... ...to suffer! Fantastic! Her last super is Excellent Full Course, which is almost like her Majin Form super. You're not! Hope you're right! Lab Code 21 definitely feels OP with that moveset at first. Akira Toriyama was cooking with Android 21 when he made her. So that poll I made about which version of Android 21 you guys like playing more really surprised me. I thought Lab Code 21 was going to win, but y'all love Majin 21. And I can't blame you yet because I'm in the same category. I do want to talk about Captain Ginyu at some point because he has a really interesting moveset that I wanted to explain. And also cooler because it's cooler, he's awesome! And I'm debating on either buying Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance, or more Android 21 merch. So that tells ya, I have no life. So that'll be it for this video. Comment down below who your main is in Fighters, or talk about Dragon Ball General. I do look at my comments and I love to interact with you guys in it. So hey, have a nice day and I'll catch you later. Ciao. I'm salivating just thinking about what you could taste like.